LDL Paranormal is back in our home in White Springs, Florida. We are up the street from the original house that we investigated. We did some um, cemeteries last week, which netted nothing other than two voices outside of the fall, Falling Creek uh, Church or chapel or whatever it was. But we're, we're here in the hot spot now. We're in the Adams General Store, which is on, and, and by the way, this is Brenda. She is, are you the proprietor, the owner? What's your position? I am for the proprietor, yes. Proprietor. Okay, and how long have you been um, running that? Uh, three and a half years. Okay, and, and tell us where we are. We're on Route 41 and... Um, You're on the corner of Spring Street and Bridge Street, which is Route 41 and 136. Okay, great. So it's, this is it's for... Downtown. Yeah, this is really downtown White, White Springs Street. for the most and part. Downtown as it gets. Yes. Okay, and tell us what history you know of this particular building. This building was built in 1893. The business was started originally in 1865 by the Adams Brothers. Family continued it. They uh, became so prosperous they were able to build this building. And uh, it stayed in business to the late 60s. That's all that I know. I don't know an exact date. But they, um, they allowed people to come in and bring their cotton, which was the crop at the time. Uh, they would come in and sell their cotton. Uh, and then come in and buy accordingly. Uh, they would allow them to run up a tab for the month and then pay it off as their crops came in. Um, I, I got a tingling feeling right on the side of my head here that just came. So just yeah. just so you know, right here on this side. So it's my hair standing up on the back of my neck. But go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, and they also. Uh, kind of became a bank because they would loan people money against their land, which made them in the early 1900s one of the biggest landowners around. Uh, when people weren't able to pay back the money, they would get their land. Um, White Springs is a lovely little town. Um, I personally, here in the store, have uh, experienced a couple of things, but nothing that has made me fearful always brings me peace. Um, I, every now and then, will um, have the smell of a man's cologne. And that's, um, so we're physically sitting in the front of the store, if you're facing the store from the street. Which, what's the name of this street right here? Uh, that is Bridge Street. Bridge Street. If you were facing the store from Bridge Street, we're on the right-hand side, which is the entrance to the store. Yes. Kenny, if you could just take a quick pan around, you know, just so you can see the front door. So, and, and I presume that this has been the front door since it was opened yes, back in 1865. That is correct, yes. Okay, so it was a bank, do you know, was one part a bank and the other something else? It was else? like a bank. Oh, it was uh, like they, a bank. Yes, they just loaned people money. It oh, was okay. never officially a bank. It was like a grocery store with a check cashing store inside. Exactly, exactly, changed. yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and so um, now it's, it's uh, you, you have it occupied, people sell antiques and... Antiques and crafts. Handmade crafts. Handmade crafts. And they had their own little kind of stores in here. Yes, kind of like an antique mall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got one particular corner that we're going to focus on right, uh, right up here. That's most activity from. Okay, and to describe some of the activity that's happened. Basically, I have had the men's smell of cologne. Okay. I smelled that there. And it's off and on? Just every... Just randomly. Yes, randomly. Yep. Always when nobody's here. Always when nobody's here. Yes. Okay. Uh, and um, someone has uh, patted me, uh, rubbed my head and patted me on my back twice uh, in the same area and also a friend of mine. Uh, but the feeling that you're getting when this is happening is that they're just reassuring you that everything is okay and that they're there. Yeah. So it's a... Um Obviously, it, it seems to be a friendly presence. You don't feel cold air. You just smell the cologne, and then the touching happens. Right, exactly. I, I felt a little bit something in that bathroom back there, and um, so did Kat. She's with us doing some uh, paranormal uh, investigations here. And um, I, I felt something back there, but I just did now that was on just when we started, when you started talking about the place. So perhaps it's someone that worked or ran the store. Do you have any idea who ran the store back then? Uh, it was run by the family always. The family, the Adams family. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and they, and they um, how, how long did they have it for and when did they? They you know, had it till the late 60s. Oh, to the late 60s? Yes. From the 18th. So they had it 100 years. Almost 100. Must have been a couple of generations. Yes, it surely was. So it's, it's, it's presumably a friendly spirit in here would be Mr. Adams, one of them. Possibly could be, yes. And he's just probably watching over it, or Mrs. Adams, we don't know. Or it could be. Uh, we have several uh, vendors here that have lost loved ones that were very precious to them. So we don't know if they're just sticking around to make sure that we're okay here. Okay. 
um, and uh, the it the store doesn't look like it's been changed dramatically. It looks pretty authentic. It definitely, that was one of the key things that Raymond Cheshire, who is the owner of this building, it was very important to him that he put things back as naturally as they were uh, in the 1800s. Yeah, because we, we, our experience has been in paranormal investigators, when you disturb the environment where somebody's lived, that's when the problems happen. But if you leave it alone and the spirits are okay, because I would imagine Mr. Adams is probably happy that you're running a business, people are coming in and out. Yes, I would think so. I yeah. think he would be pleased with the business that is here now. So Mr. Adams or Mrs. Adams or any of the Adams, we're going to be doing a, a SB7 spirit box, which is the most rudimentary of these investigations, but it's been our most successful. We've experimented with applications on computers and other stuff, but this is just a straight up, it is our FM radio that scans through the channels. We scan it at 100 milliseconds um, per, per uh, uh, t tenth of a megahertz, um, and then later when I edit the video, I edit out any um, radio stations that come through. Now the SB7 I have, it's our old warrior. It's the first one we ever used. I removed the antenna so there's a minimal amount. And in White Springs, there's only one station that comes through. I think it's 97.3 or 98.2. I can't remember. It's the only one that comes through. So when, when I edit the video, I take that, that noise out and just listen for the voices. Now we've had really big success here in White Springs, as you know, from our YouTube videos. Yeah. But I can't imagine that this place doesn't have a really good spirit or two hanging around. I'm sure. And people in the town are definitely convinced that it does. Do you have a website or something here? We just have a Facebook page yeah. right now. What's, what, how do they it's find you on Facebook? It's Adams Country Store. Adams Country Store in, in White Springs. Something over there, we got a little activity going on already. And that might be Mr. Adams. He, he's probably happy that we're showing his general store. There's the, that spirit is obviously following us right there. Can he spin around and, and look at Kat's device right there? Did he go? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe he doesn't want to get filmed. Um, we've got also a mel meter here, which is um, which is measuring the temperature. It's a little warm in here. It's uh, 88.3 degrees, but it's warm in here. It's it's warm in here, which doesn't hurt the ghost hunting or anything. Yeah, he's gone. He's in and out. Well, we're we're gonna turn the camera around here. We're gonna see if we can dim a few lights here. Get the uh, and then I'm going to stand in the middle here and do an SB7 session, and then maybe we'll walk around the building with the portable, with Kenny following us around and see if we can't get some EVPs. And I would like to say anybody's glad to come see us. We're only open Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, but we would love to have you. Yeah, find find her on the Facebook page again. What is it? Adams Country Store. Adams Country Store. We're in White Springs, Florida, right off of Spring Street, which is Route 41. Uh, it's a beautiful store. It's authentic. Uh, hopefully it's it's not haunted, but it's 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 occupied by ghosts of the Adams family, and we're going to go find out right now. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. All right. Okay, Mr. Adams, are you here? Thank you. Oh, right out of the gate there. Mike, did you say Mike? The proprietor of this store. Do you know her name? Did you hear it through the thing? Yeah. It sounded pretty close. That was a that was a clear Mr. Adams, are you here? You know what they used to sell in this store in 1865? Cold? It sounded like cold. Spirit, you can speak right through this box. I'm going to hold this up. You can speak right through here and tell us your first name.
Did you hear what I said? What's the name? The last name of the owners of the store back in the 1800s and 1900s. Last name. How many spirits are with us right now? Mr. 
points and pick up your voice and you go ahead and speak right into this. Tell us your name. Keeps going in and out of focus too. Something right here in front of us. What's your name? The person that's right in front of us, right here. 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 How many spirits are in here with us now, right now? Okay, they get, they get really, really moved, okay? Anybody on these chairs? Really good voice. Who's here? Oh, I got it still in my arm right here. Okay. I'd like to know who's upstairs here with us. Who's who's got themselves close to cat? What's your name? Is that what he said? Come back. Where do you want us to go? Back to here? You want us to come back to here? 
You don't want us to go back to Sandy's house, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy says no, never again. But Sandy says no. Let's go. That was said, let's go. Just say let's go. I don't want to ask you that once. Did you say this though? Did someone here die from a heart attack or something wrong with a Spirit in the back here, what's your name? Larry or Bonnie? Sounded like. There's so much being said here. That's a sentence right there. Ladies, gentlemen, would you like this to stay a little longer? Showing me uh, my meter. <laughs> Anybody care? <laughs> What's your favorite thing up here? <laughs> what? I don't know. A good word. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello to you too. I think. Did you say hello? Did you ever look out this window? It's an old building. What's your name? How many spirits are here? Eleven. Say your name right into here. Whoever's up right here, right in front of me. The blinking? Yeah. I, I can't feel you. Are, are you somebody that doesn't want to say your name, maybe? That doesn't want somebody to know you're here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Is that Ed, Ed Belcher? No, I don't think so. I think it's somebody else. Is it's it not me? you, Doug. It's somebody else. Who else is it? Is it you, DJ? Say yes or no? That 
meter is not letting up, it's just completely sitting right there. If you're friendly, can you touch Brenda right on the top of her head, just gently? Just touch her right on her head, right here, like that. Did somebody else that died in this store, you're following this around, you don't seem to be angry or anything. Are you Mr. Adams? Or someone that worked here? That's like Terry Pike the back of Right here, yeah. It smells like what? No, it's gone. And it's gone now. No, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. It is right here. It's right here. Seems like they're all wanting to clam up now. Damn it. What is your name? You can tell us. Jim. What else is it? Jeff? Jeff or Jim? Jeff or Jim? Jeff or Jim? Jeff or Jim, did you work here? Were you an employee? That's something right there, man. It was the lady Sophie. Sophie? Sophie. Who's Sophie? She got one. She got one. She was the sister. Oh, that looks like cool. That was something. Like cool. That was something. Like cool. Okay, I guess you're gone, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let up and stop recording. Still here, man? Did you hear what he said? I, I don't know what he I said. I know exactly what he said. What he said. <laughs> for letting us uh, do what we needed to do here. Uh, we might be back someday if um, Brenda is kind enough to let us mm -hmm. come back. But thank you for following me around the whole time. I appreciate it. And uh, the store is in good hands and will continue to be for many years to come, okay? I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye.